Hey guys, it's David with Cars and Code. I'm here to show you how to create a quick application to show a friction circle on your cell phone so you can drive around and have your friction circle with you. So first we're going to go to visualstudio.com slash downloads and download Visual Studio Community. So we hit that button and we download it on uh, the left here. Once we have it downloaded, we'll just start the, the process of install. Now when we actually do the install, we're going to want the .NET desktop environment. Uh, if you want to do Universal Windows Platform, you can select that as well. I'm going to. And then what we're really going to need is if we scroll down, we're going to want this mobile development with .NET. This is what's actually going to be able to give, let us write our applications. We're going to change our install directory. And then we just let it install. And once it's finished, we will restart our computer. Now that our computer is restarted, we can go and launch Visual Studio. And we're going to sign in. Wow, this looks bad. Well, we're just going to sign in here. And now we have Visual Studio running. So all we have to do is create this new project. So we're going to go File, New Project. And then we can come down to Cross Platform and then create a cross platform app. And we'll, we'll call this uh, Friction Circle. We're going to start with a blank app with Xamarin Forms and a portable class library. I just find portable class libraries a little uh, better than shared projects at this point in time. We're just going to use the default version for, or for the UWP project because we're going to be deleting it soon anyway. And then we need to enable developer mode for UWP, but we're not going to worry about UWP, so we will ignore that, allow Visual Studio through. We're not going to connect to a Mac agent at this point. So we're going to close that, and now we have our new Xamarin Forms project. We're going to come right away here and first delete the UWP project because we're just going to be doing an iOS and Android project. So now we just have Android and iOS, but we still have the actual folder in there for UWP. So we're going to come to Friction Circle, UWP, and delete this. So now we have our project with an Android and iOS. And now what we can do is actually get this blank app to run on our devices. So I'm going to plug my phone in here, but I just likely not going to work yet because we have to install some Android SDK things. So if you come over to here to the top of the screen, we have the Android SDK Manager. We're going to open that. And here's our Android SDK Manager where we're going to be uh, doing all of our SDK stuff. So we're going to update the platform tools, we're going to want build tools, uh, Android 7, we're going to come through here. We do want Android 7. And we'll wait a little while for it to download everything. Okay, now that we've finished, we can see that my computer is now picking up the Google Pixel XL, which is my phone. Now you guys won't be able to see the screen yet, so I'm going to download an app called Visor to let you guys see my my phone screen. So we'll go to the Chrome Web Store, launch app, and view. So now we can see the screen of my phone. Okay, so now if I come here and click on launch project, it's going to take a little bit here to build the project. Looks like it's deploying, so let's open up Visor. And we now have our app running. We have a nice little app that says, Welcome to Xamarin Forums. So this is the end of the first video, all of the setup. In the next video, we're going to take a look at actually starting our application.